Archaeology is about evidence, the sort of clues that a detective uses. But obviously in the case of archaeology, it's evidence that's been buried, so not everything will survive. So as part of our What's Under Your School project, we devised a way to make children think about what would and wouldn't survive being buried. They were going to need this if they were going to do any digging, whether real or imaginary. We used stuff from the bin, so anybody can do it, and we called it Archaeology is about rubbish. It's true. Most of, I mean, I, I have occasionally dug up bits of jewellery and valuable things, but most of what we dig up is rubbish. And what I want you to think about is what sort of things are we going to find? Now, the reason, you might wonder why I've got a dustbin here, and this is because I think we can work this out by looking at modern rubbish. If I buried this stuff and tried to dig it up in 100 years' time, what would be left? What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you whether something is going to rot or not rot. I think you can be the rotters. You're the things, you're the rotten stuff. Yeah. yeah okay, is that all right? And you can be the not rots. Let's have a look, what have, what have we got in here? Um, ooh, who likes pizza? Okay, now, there's two bits to this. What's going to happen to that? <coughs> Who thinks that will rot away? Right, what's it made of? It's made of... Is it cardboard? It's cardboard. And who knows what cardboard's made of? Paper. Paper. And what's paper made of? Trees. Trees. OK, so that, you think, is going to be... That's one for the rotters. Here we are, you can have that one. But there's something else inside there. Isn't there? They always have these. They always have these things inside a pizza box. And what's that made of? Anybody know? Polystyrene. What? Polystyrene. It's polystyrene, isn't it? Which is a sort of plastic. So do you think that needs to go over that side then, with the with the knot rots? Okay. So we're get, getting the hang of this. What about then hot chocolate? Now, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to that? It's not going to rot. What's this? What's the tube made of? Is it um, sort of in metal? No, it's not actually. Paper. This is, it's cardboard. So, will is that going to rot away then? Yeah. yeah. But is there going to be any of it left? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because it's, it's made of metal. Right. So that that one actually goes in the middle, doesn't it? Um, right. Well, it was. Oh dear. Paper. And it smells of vinegar. What do you think that was round? Chips. 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 Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So I think that goes over there, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah that yeah, goes yeah. with that one. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> this 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 is yours, right? Do you want this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Ugh. Yeah. I think that's that's fairly rotten already, isn't it? That's that's actually. That's actually quite disgusting. That's quite disgusting. OK, more plastic. That side. Yeah. I think that side. OK, um, what else? Ah, now hang on a bit. What about... What about that? Tin can. So, what's going to happen to that? Why? Because um, some of it will be left. Which bit will be left, though? The metal part. Right. So, in other words, that label is going to go, isn't it? Because the label's made of paper. So, in fact, that's what I had for my lunch. I had a tin of mushroom soup for my lunch. But you wouldn't be able to tell that, would you? Because you'd have the tin and you'd have the label. OK. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not smelly. It's perfectly all right. OK, which side does the sock go then? Which side? You think the sock's going to not rot? No. 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 You think it's going to rot? Yes. yes. OK, right. It's made out of something called cotton. Do you know where cotton comes from? Sheep. Sheep. No. No, that's <coughs> wool. Wool comes from sheep. Cotton actually grows... It's a plant. So, I think that's going to rot away, so you can have my sock as well. Um, oh, yeah, what about that? Oh. Rot, rot, OK. Stupidly, I've put one of my archaeological trowels in there. 
So what's going to happen to that? Who can tell me what's going to happen to that? What do you think? Oh, I think it's going to go Why? Because it's made of wood and metal. Because it's made of wood and metal. Well done. So that's another one <laughs> for the middle. And yeah. do you know what we call things like that? There's a name that we can give to all of those things on that side. And it's something to do with the fact that they were all once living. No, living, living, that's the thing. All living things are organisms, aren't they? So, have you heard the word organic? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, see, all of, all of these things, these are organic because these were all once living. Well, in fact, that's prob that is still living, sort of. That was part of a plant. That was, that, that's a banana. And these things are made of paper which come from trees. So, they were all living things. Whereas, of course, everything over here, glass plastic, metal, those were never living, were they? So those are the things that are going to be left. And you can actually do the same thing with a person. Now, what would happen if you buried me? In a hundred years' time, what would be left? The bones. My bones, my skeleton. OK. Bones. What else would be left? The glasses. Right, well spotted. My glasses, they would be there, wouldn't they? Because they're plastic. Can you see anything else that would be left? Your ring. My ring, well done, because that's gold, isn't it? What else? Watch. My watch, because that's metal and plastic. What else? Your hair. No, my hair would go. <laughs> my hair, that, would, that would go, there'd just be a skeleton left. What else? Your buttons. Well spotted, yeah. Because the shirt would go, but the buttons would be left. So actually, even though... Even though there'd just be a skeleton with a row of buttons, you'd be able to tell that that skeleton was wearing a shirt. What else? That's very good. So the bottom of the shoe. So what about the, so what would happen to the top of my shoe? And why would it rot away? Because it's leather, which obviously comes from an animal, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. So all that would be left would be the bottom of my shoes. Um, so we've got my glasses, my ring, my watch, my buttons, and then of course there's things in my pocket. Money. money. Some money. Now what? And don't anybody say that I'm rich because there's 23p there, so that's not rich, is it? So what would that money, what could you find out from it? What do you think? Um, the date and how much it was worth. Yeah, the date... Is the, is the important thing. Because, of course, all these coins have got somebody's head on them, haven't they? And whose head is it? You all know who that is, don't Queen. you? Who's Queen it? Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth the II. The second. The second. Right, not Elizabeth I. <laughs> so, Elizabeth II's head. And you're right, they've got a date on them, haven't they? So, these, this one is 1980. This one's 1992. 2003, and the very shiny one, is 2012. So we've got dates there from 1980 to 2012. What would that tell an archaeologist about when I was buried? I can't have been buried before 2012, can I? Because you can't have a coin from the future in your pocket. So I could have a, a pocket full of Roman coins and one dated 2012, and that wouldn't make me Roman, it would mean that I couldn't be buried before 2012. So coins are really useful clues. But you're right, it's the date of the latest coin, so the newest one, that actually tells you. So do you get the idea then about what clues we might find that we might dig up? Because there's some things we're not going to dig up, are we? We're not going to dig up clothes from hundreds of years ago. We're not going to dig up bananas from hundreds of years ago. We're not going to dig up things made of paper. But we will dig up these more solid things. Now, that's what archaeology is about. It's about digging up clues and trying to work out what's going on. So, with the children now hopefully understanding what would and wouldn't survive being buried, we move on to the indoor dig. <laughs> 